vibe. Hi guys. Um, all right. Look at this little natural little makeup look I did today. Um, so I have recently changed up my style a little bit. I just realized my desk is so messy. Like you can literally see all my food and all my, I tried to clean up a little bit, but I forgot about my desk. It's the real deal here. But anyways, I've recently changed up my style a little bit and I want to start doing more style stuff. So I thought I would start off with a haul of like some recent things that I picked up. So I feel like the way I want to describe my style is kind of like that 90s supermodel, very like Bella Hadid, Kendall Jenner vibes, street style vibes. I went shopping at a vintage store for some of this stuff. Um, so some of it actually is like that very old school vibe. And yeah, I'm just like super excited about this kind of like new, whole new rock that's coming out. Um, and the first thing I got, I already am wearing, which I'm obsessed with also don't pay attention to my ratchet little nail right here but i'm obsessed with this guy so it's this like baby pink shade it's almost like a lilac shade which is why i really really loved it i wore it to my friend's bridal shower just now i just got home so that's why i'm like filming this little haul because i go to new york tomorrow morning so this dress and a couple other things that i got are from that vintage store that i talked about so it's actually reformation vintage if you went or if you've heard of reformation they actually have a vintage store on melrose which is really cool it's a little little bit I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit overpriced but I did get some cool finds I want to go to like an actual vintage store I, I'm thinking when I go to New York I might go to like vintage twins I think that's what it's called I've been there before but regardless first store that I'm gonna show you guys stuff from is Reformation vintage so again first first item was this little dress right here and then my second item that I got I have been searching non-stop for a good pair of vintage Levi's and I finally found a really good pair if you are looking for vintage Levi's I do kind of recommend going there because they had a lot of options that were really really cute and fitted I don't know if they tailor them or something there but like I just feel like they fit the butt area really nicely at that store specifically but also the workers were really knowledgeable about like the different styles and the difference between 501s and 510s and 550s and whatever so I think I ended up getting a pair of 501s the back part is like completely worn off since this is obviously like a used pair but it's so cute like this pair is the perfect little like bootleg straight but not too bell bottom but not too straight kind of vibe so I really really like this and I like the color wash and just like how it fit on the waist and everything as well okay I'm so excited for this next one oh I'm so excited it's gonna be a little bougie guys don't worry I have some some other things later on in the video that aren't like bam in your face but i found this dior like this vintage dior blazer that i was like okay we need that oh we need that it's actually a really cool color i don't actually own anything of this color it's almost like a grayish green the collar doesn't go all the way up it kind of stops halfway but it has that nice fitted but oversized look somehow it's really really cute this one was kind of inspired by julia roberts a blazer with a t-shirt and jeans and it just looks so cute i've also been obsessed with corsets in general um and i found this corset that it is a little big on me right now. I'm gonna get it tailored, but I just thought again, it's such a cute item and very unique. Like I love this pattern here. It has nude underneath, but it like slims out the waist because of that cut that it has. For me, I'm really into like unique pieces that I can't really find nowadays. You know what I'm trying to say? And I just love a good corset moment, okay? I just love corsets. They're like my favorite thing right now. Corsets, good vintage denim and then like oversized jackets and hoodies, which I have a couple of those too. I also found this at Ref Vintage as well. It needs to be steamed now, but it's so cute. This one is just like a champagne satiny shirt. I actually saw this as they were steaming in the store and I saw the color from far away and I was just like, what's that because i needed this color in my life this paired with these jeans so cute it could be dressed down with like a pair of converse it could be dressed up with a pair of heels Whew, it's gonna be fire this is from liz claiborne like the actual brand but again i got it at ref vintage they told me that their shipments come in on thursdays so thursdays are kind of the day to go so <clears throat> 
I made a huge order on Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville is one of my favorite places to get basics, um, any sorts of basics, and I feel like they have a good vibe. It's not too overpriced. I would say it's pretty reasonable for you know the quality. Obviously, some things are better than others, but overall, I really do like the quality of their clothes. Before, I would never fit into anything because it's since it's one size, but I do kind of feel like they're expanding their sizes a little bit per se. I don't know if I'm correct or if I'm wrong, but I do feel like I fit into more things or I like the way more, more things fit on me now versus a couple years ago. I got this little knitted sweater. Um, I got a couple different colors of this because I love how these look on. These are such a staple for my wardrobe right now because I feel like they're such a vibe. They're so cute. They're very 90s but super, super comfortable. And it's just a little casual sweater top. <laughs> so I got the black one. I got this gray one. It might be in my car but I got a white one as well. So I got kind of the staples. Black, gray, white, boom. Then I love this. I've already worn this and it's so cute. Very, very flattering too. So this is similar vibes, that kind of knitted material, button up, but it has a collar, so it's more of a shirt, and it is so cute, especially over like jeans or even with like a little schoolgirl skirt. So cute. So yeah, I love this. I really like the way it fit too. I haven't tried these on yet, but I'm pretty excited. These like little worker pants, and these are a navy blue, a really dark navy. Um, I am kind of worried about this because they the waist looks really small, but they would be a sick little addition to my wardrobe. A lot of the pants I have are all like the same. Like I have a lot of, you know, black jeans or blue jeans or whatever. Like I wanna expand into like different horizons of pants. <laughs> Speaking of pants, Brandy Melville makes the best sweatpants I have ever tried in my life. Like, if you take one thing from this video, Brandy Melville sweats. They are so nice. Like, I swear, they are the nicest sweatpants. I don't know what it is, just they fit perfect. They're, and you know, I don't have super skinny legs, you know what I mean? I have a little something something to my legs, um, but these are such a great fit, because they fit good around the booty, but, the, the legs are still loose enough. I like my sweatpants loose. Like I don't want my sweatpants to be tight at all. I do not want them to look like leggings. I don't want them to stick to my legs at all. These are the best. So I actually picked up a couple different colors of them because I wanted them for like anything that I ever needed to wear them with. So I got a black pair, which is actually really cute. It's like a washed out black. I picked up a second pair of the gray. So this is the one that I originally had and I loved it. Um, so now I have two grays just as a backup, I guess. <laughs> I also got white because I feel like white could be a vibe if you wore it with like a white baby tee or maybe even a white not wife beater I don't I hate using that word I literally hate it but like you know like a little tank um, I think this could be so cute or even with a white hoodie and then obviously we all love a good old-fashioned vintage tee. This isn't actually vintage because it's from Brandy Melville but I thought it was so cute it has Bugs Bunny on it and it's nice and Oversized. I think this is gonna be really cute with like biker shorts, leggings, jeans, underneath a blazer. If you want to go for a more casual look, you can totally wear something that's like this. That's like has a graphic on it, and it's very cute. Um, so yeah, I got that. I got a couple other turtlenecks. So I have this one that has a ruffle around the neckline that's more fitted, which I thought was super cute. And especially because I'm going to New York tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna bring this. I love a black turtleneck with jeans. I think it's such a vibe. Classic iconic 90s vibes, especially when you wear it with some sunnies. <sighs> vibes! Oh girl, that's gonna be fire. I've actually gotten a lot of questions about these glasses. I got these at Nordstrom from the brand Le Sport. Sorry, Le Specs. I don't know why I said Les Sport. That's a different brand for sure, but Les Specs from this. And then I also get a lot of questions on these glasses from my Instagram. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I wear these a lot on my stories or even like in my feed posts. And they're the cutest like 90s style glasses. And these actually got on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something. Um, I'll link them down below, but they're so cute. I want these in like all different colors. I want like a black pair or maybe like a dark gray. I think that could be really, really cute. And then also while we're on the topic of accessories, I love these little hair clips. I've been loving wearing my hair like this where it's just like clipped back, like snatched, snatch up the face and then a few little wispies in the front. Um, it's kind of been my go-to hairstyle lately and it's super easy to do. And I literally got these at the Dollar Tree. So stop by the Dollar Tree, pick these up, snatch back your hair, and 
throw on a black turtleneck and some high-waisted vintage jeans and you are styling. I have two more things from Brandy. Sorry, I got so distracted there. But um, I have a short sleeve. This was called the Presley. <laughs> like my dog so I was like I have to get it I don't know when things are like sentimental like that I literally feel like I have to get it so yeah this is just an oversized black t-shirt but it was called the Presley so I was like I, I need that and then this one was also called the Presley but it was long sleeves this tucked into the jeans because those jeans are a little bit more like fitted along the waist would be so cute and again, I just had to get it because it was called Presley. <laughs> so that is what I got from Brandy Melville. And then I also made an order off Cherry Los Angeles. Um, if you haven't heard of them, they're a really sick brand. It's like a brand that's based out here. It's a smaller brand, but I, fo I followed them on Instagram for probably like, I don't know, I wanna say like a couple years now. And they are, they make such cute clothes. I'm so excited because they did a Valentine's Day drop and it has like these little hearts and it's like baby tees and then matching sweats. So cute, but that hasn't come in yet. But I did get my previous order. So I have this matching like sweatsuit, which is almost like a, a vintage gray color. Has red cherry logo on it. Bella Hadid actually wears this brand a lot. Hailey Bieber does too. I'm letting you in on all the deets. All the secrets but yeah I really like this I love obviously a good matching sweatsuit because you don't have to really think about styling anything because you can just throw on that throw on some like Air Force ones and some crew socks and you're good to go and then I also got this this is like the cutest little set right here so also from Cherry Los Angeles pants and a matching jacket these were a little bit pricey but I am glad that I got it because I feel like this looks so so cute together. I've already worn it. Um, I wore it yesterday to like these vineyards, but you can also wear them separately and they're still gonna look fire. So first off we have the jacket and it's like this kind of old school Chevy inspired jacket, but it says cherry on it. And it's just such a cute cut. It's very oversized. This is what the back looks like. It's so cute and I'm telling you, I am not joking. When I wore it, I cannot tell you how many people came up to me and they were like, oh my God, sit jacket, I love your jacket. Um, so yeah, this is a winner. I love this jacket so much. Um, and then it comes with the matching pants, which again, they look so cute together. The pants are a little bit more fitted. I got a medium because I knew that they would run a little bit small because just in the past when I've ordered from Cherry, it does run a little bit small in my opinion. So yeah, these are the pants. I'm just super happy with this purchase because I feel like I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of it. And then finally, I got this little guy, which is a... <laughs> It's literally so freaking cute. Um, so this is like an oversized corduroy jacket. Um, I have one from Cherry Los Angeles that is like a plaid jacket. But this one is so cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's just like this oversized jacket and I love stuff like this because you can wear it over dresses. Like I would definitely wear this over like a black mini dress or anything or you can wear it off the shoulder. It looks so cute. Like this in IG photos is gonna look fire. It's very Hailey Bieber, very Bella. There we go. I also wanna show you guys one more thing. It's not recent, but I feel like a lot of people ask me about it every single time I wear it. So let me just show you one more thing. So like I said, corsets have been my vibe lately. I just feel like corsets look good with anything. And even for Coachella, I'm like already trying to plan out ideas for outfits. And I really wanna do like a lot of corset looks because it's very flattering. I don't know, I just, I like the vibes of them. Um, so this is one of my all time favorites that I have. It's this like satin nude corset and it's from the brand Danielle Guzio. I love her stuff, like literally one of my favorite brands in the entire world. I wish I could buy everything from the site because it's such vibe, like just so, so cute. And yeah, I love this one because it does have straps. It fits really nicely around the whole area and it just it's so flattering it makes you look so good i've posted a couple pictures in this on instagram already so i'll insert them on the screen but yeah i just wanted to include this even though it's not new because i feel like it's definitely this is one of the pieces that inspired like this style that i'm trying to go for where it's like i don't know that like 90s supermodel style so anyways i love you guys thank you so much for watching and let me know if you're interested in more fashion videos because i feel like i'm definitely getting into fashion i mean i've always been into fashion i just feel like i've never talked about it that much um i've done lookbooks here and there but i haven't really talked about too much of it and i just I don't know, I just, I wanna do more stuff with my fashion and sharing like stuff that I get, where I go, everything like that. So yeah, 
Love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching my videos. And I'll see you in my next one, whatever that may be. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Subscribe down below, turn those notifications on, and I will see you next time. But it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm annoying.